All right, all you code monkeys out there, we're going to do a tutorial on getting you started making web pages. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to create a very simple web page. It's not the most exciting one. It's going to be a little biography about myself, or you can do it about yourself and follow along. And really, it's designed to show you some really common tags, show you working with the Notepad++ environment. And uh, we're going to make some changes, save them and uh, we'll see how it displays on a browser and then we'll that'll be pretty much it now one of the things i want to show you is that um, we have available in the on the superquest website there's a code repository that in that repository it has a template file and uh, basically if you're in my web design class i'd have you start with this template and it, it just gives you some of the the overhead code that you don't have to deal with um, eventually, you probably might want to know what some of these tags are, but if you really want to get started and you just want to make something visible and change, it's a good idea to start with a template that has some of that in place. And uh, believe me, this template has been tested on um, a validator that I wanted to make sure that you'd get a really good start to a web page. So you can download it from here, save it to a copy. Maybe your teacher has given you a copy of one, or they may have their own version. In my flash drive, I have this template right here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open it, and if I just double click it, I'm going to open it in a browser. And you see, it, you can see right here that it's going to be Internet Explorer that opens it. So it opens it up, and it's really nothing to look at. There's nothing in our viewport. It's all blank. And really all we get for the file name is just the, the, the path. It's in the, my eDrive web page work template. Um, so what we want to do is we want to edit. We want to make changes. We want to make this website shine. We want to give it some some flair here. So what we're going to do is we're going to right click on it and we're going to edit with Notepad++. Of course there's many ways you could do it. You could open up Notepad++ and from there open up the file um, and uh, if you have a Mac I'm sure you have your own way of opening files but basically you want to edit your pages with a text editor and the reason why I like Notepad++ so much is it color codes it as you can see. And so I'm going to expand this a little bit, and I'm going to zoom in a little. And what I want to do is just kind of show you some of these tags that are in the template. Uh, I really, I mean, do you really want to type this out by hand every time you make a web page? I know I don't. In fact, uh, honestly, I don't even know what goes in here. I, I Once I got it to work, I stopped paying attention to it. But the browser really cares because it wants to know, well, how are you going to display this web page? So this doc type tells us how they're going to do it. Then we have this HTML tag, and Chris um, uh, he, Bartlow, he has a tutorial that kind of explains these necessary tags. I'm not going to go into any great detail. Uh, notice there's this thing called an attribute inside. An attribute just gives more information about the tag. And uh, I'm not going to go into this because, you know, let's not worry about all the details. Let's just focus on making a web page. But you'll notice there's an HTML tag, and you notice there's a little minus sign. If I click it, it hides everything that's inside of it. So it's one way of seeing what's inside of what. And this could actually be very handy later on. Or if you just want to ignore some of the details, let's say we don't want to worry about the head. We can just get that out of the way, not view it. And we'll just make sure we're looking at the body. Okay, um, in the other earlier tutorial, he talked about putting a title in. So we're going to put a little My Biography. I'm going to put it in the title tag. And if we save our changes, and we go back to our browser and hit refresh, you'll see now that it says my biography on there. So we've got our title tag working. Let's go down to the body. And uh, basically, uh, we just the browser just views our tags one at a time from top to bottom. So whatever goes on top, you've got to put it at the very, uh, be at the very first tag of the body. So we're going to put an H1, and H stands for header. 1 means it's level 1. It's the most important header of all. And the most important header would be the title of your page. So I'm going to put, uh, actually, I'll put my name on here. Sir, not appearing in this film. Okay, this is not a creative writing class, so I'm just going to stick to the main concepts here. I'm going to save my header one. Sir, so not appearing in this film. And I'm going to go back to the browser. I'm going to hit refresh. And immediately you will see, there it is in bold and uh, so it's real easy to see. And of course, if you're going to have a title for any kind of document or any kind of web page or whatever, usually the title is pretty important and you want it to, to be important. So you put it at the top, you make it big. Um, and so we're going to put a couple other tags here. Now, header one is not the only header. We actually have H2. 
Now an H2 tag is for a header level two, it's for a sub header. So if I were to make a page about my biography, I might wanna put my education or family background. So I'm gonna put family background. And then well, maybe I wanna have another section a little bit later on and I'm gonna have it on my education. And then I might add some more sections later on. For now, I'm not really worried about that. For now, I just want to have two sections on my web page. I'm going to save my changes. Now, I, I want to emphasize here, if you noticed, I actually coded my opening tag and my closing tag at the same time, and then I put the content on the inside. And I do that because uh, it's really because I'm kind of forgetful. I could put things down and, and not find them later on. And uh, so I want to make sure that uh, I don't forget what I'm doing. So I always close my tag. Because if I don't close it when I open it, I may forget to close it. And that can really cause some strange behavior on a browser. So I'm going to hit refresh again and see what happened. You will notice now, and I want to just compare the code to the output. If you look at the code here, and let's zoom in on this. I'm going to zoom in a little bit there. So you got the family background and education here. Those are header twos. And then Mr. Wicca's biography is in the header one. You'll notice the header one is larger than the header two. Okay. Now, I've had some students think, well, if H1 is the first one we see and H2 is the second, maybe the next header should be H3 and the one after that should be H4 and the one after that is H5. Well, really, what this is saying is it's just what level it's at. It's almost as if it were an outline. And on an outline, you know, the, the two is like one indented version here. And so our header two for family background, this is a subheader. And since it's a subsection, we don't want it quite as big. But you'll notice it's still bold. So what we're going to do is we're just going to add a couple of bits of information under family background. I'm not going to go into any great detail. You can learn about my biography when I write my memoir someday in the far future. So I'll just put on here, I was born a young child. in Phoenix, Arizona. And I'll put a paragraph there, education. I went to, oh boy, I can't even remember the name. <laughs> Ingleside, there we go, Ingleside Elementary School. And I'm just going to close my paragraph tag. Now, of course, you noticed I didn't close my tag till I was done writing it. That's because I'm a trained professional. All right, just kidding. Um, so sometimes I don't always practice what I preach. But at this point now, I want to point out that we've got now three sets of tags, and I'm actually going to zoom out a little bit here. You'll notice my header one is the largest. And I'm actually going to resize this over here. Header one's the largest. Header two is the next largest. And my paragraph is the smallest of all. And so, so the paragraph here, I was born a young child. You notice it's a lot smaller on here. It's because it's a paragraph of text. It's not a section header, so it shouldn't be as large. It shouldn't be as bold. So browsers will automatically style some of that. So at this point, we have a couple of headers, header one, header two. We have a couple of paragraphs. And uh, now we have a page, and we've got something started. And from here, you can build. And we'll talk about that in later tutorials. Thank you very much.